A Kayong Burmese, Pyodi Ta, often shortened to, is a Burmese Buddhist monastery Vihara, comprising the domestic quarters and workplaces of Buddhist monks. Burmese Kayongs are sometimes also occupied by novice monks Samanera, lay attendants Kapia, nuns, and young acolytes observing the five precepts, Fothudao. Kayongs are typically built of wood, meaning that few historical monasteries built before the 1800s are extant. The Kayong has traditionally been the center of village life in Burma, serving as both the educational institution for children and a community center, especially for merit making activities such as construction of buildings, offering of food to monks, and celebration of Buddhist festivals, and observance of Aposatha. Monasteries are not established by members of the Sangha, but by laypersons who donate land or money to support the establishment. Usage The modern Burmese language term Kayong descends from the old Burmese word Klan. The strong connection between religion and schooling is reflected by fact that the Kayong is the same word now used to refer to secular schools. Kayong is also used to describe Christian churches, Hindu temples, and Chinese temples. Mosques are an exception, as they use the Hindi-derived word Bali. Types In modern-day Myanmar, Kayongs may be divided into a number of categories, including monastic colleges called Sathantaik, and remote forest monasteries called Taya Kayong. Myanmar's primary monastic university towns are Bago, Pakaku, and Zagain. Topic: History. In pre-colonial times, the Kayong served as the primary source of education, providing nearly universal education for boys, representing the bastion of civilization and knowledge. And integral to the social fabric of pre-colonial Burma." The connections between Kayongs and education were reinforced by monastic examinations, which were first instituted in 1648 by King Thalan during the Tongu dynasty. Classical learning was transmitted through monasteries, which served as venues for Burmese students to pursue higher education and further social advancement in the royal administration after disrobing. Indeed, nearly all prominent historical figures such as Kinwon Mingyi Yu Kong spent their formative years studying at monasteries. Traditional monastic education first developed in the pagan kingdom, in tandem with the proliferation of Theravada Buddhism learning in the 1100s. The syllabus at Kayongs included the Burmese language, Pali grammar and Buddhist texts with a focus on discipline, morality and code of conduct such as Mangala Sutta, Sigalovada Sutta, Dhammapada, and Jataka tales, prayers and elementary arithmetic. Influential monasteries held vast libraries of manuscripts and texts. The ubiquity of monastic education was attributed with the high literacy rate for Burmese Buddhist men. The 1901 Census of India found that 60.3% of Burmese Buddhist men over 20 were literate, as compared to 10% for British India as a whole. Kayongs called PWE Kayongs, also taught secular subjects, such as astronomy, astrology, medicine, massage, divination, horsemanship, swordsmanship, archery, arts and crafts, boxing, wrestling, music and dancing. During the Kanbang dynasty, various kings, including Bodapaya suppressed the proliferation of Pwe Kayong, which were seen as potential venues for rebellions. Sumptuary law dictated the construction and ornamentation of Burmese Kayongs, which were among the few building structures in pre-colonial Burma to possess elaborate multi-tiered roofs called payatthat. Mason balustrades characterized royal monasteries. Following the abolishment of the Burmese monarchy at the end of the Third Anglo-Burmese War, monastic schools were largely superseded by secular, government-run schools. <laughs> Common Kayong features The typical Kayong consists of a number of buildings called Kayong Zong Thane, from Pali Sima Ordination Hall as prescribed by the Vinaya Damayan, assembly hall used for sermons and communal purposes. Zedai, from Polycedia, stupa, often covered with gold leaf and containing a reliquary. Living quarters for the monks and the Sayadaw. Zayat, open air pavilions used as rest houses. 
Tagundang, ornamented flagstaff celebrating the submission of local Nats animistic spirits to the Dhamma Shrines to the Arhat Savali and Shin Upagata Kayataye Khan, storage room Cooking quarters Traditional monasteries of the Kanbang era consisted of the following halls Payathat Hasang, main chapel hall that houses images of the Buddha Hasangmagi, or Hasangma, main assembly hall for lectures, ceremonies and housing junior monks Sanu Hasang, residential hall of the monastery abbot Baga Hasang, storage room for monks provisions in pre-colonial times, royal monasteries were organized as complexes known as Kayong Take, composed of several residential buildings, including the main building, the Kayongji, or Kayongma, which was occupied by the residing Sayadaw, and smaller structures called Kayongyan, which housed the Sayadaw's disciples. The complexes were walled compounds, and also housed a library, ordination halls, meeting halls, water reservoirs and wells, and utility buildings. Examples Adamashi Monastery Bagaya Monastery Hetilin Monastery Mahagandayan Monastery Mayadong Monastery Salin Monastery Schweinbein Monastery Shwenanda Monastery Shwezidi Monastery Taita Monastery Ya Mingyi Monastery See also Vihara Wat Burmese Pagoda Burmese Culture <laughs>